Hi everyone, welcome to Mission News. My name is Haley Matthews and I'll be your host for today. For the first episode of A Romantic Month, we'll be talking about our teachers, the upcoming four day weekend, some Valentine's Day troubles, and the 100th day of school. We hope you enjoy. For our first segment, Isaias will be joining me in the studio to talk about the 100th day of school. Welcome, Isaias. Hi, Haley. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. So, tell us, what exactly is the 100th day of school? Haley, you've been here for nine years. How could you not know what the 100th day is? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's the 100th day of school where we have several activities, including number 100. For instance, jump rope 100 times or count to 100. We'll also be getting a snack at the end of the day. I get it. So, you could argue with someone for 100 minutes? You could, although that might be exhausting. Well, thank you for your time, Isaias. Now here's Ariana and Isabella talking about Valentine's Day. Hi, my name is Ariana Lopez. And I'm Isabella Jansen. Today, we are going to be covering Valentine's Day. The eighth grade class is selling candy grams, and they are $1. You will either get a chocolate heart, a dum-dum lollipop, or a dum-dum boyfriend. Just kidding, not really. Sales stop on Wednesday the 12th, and the candy will be handed out on Thursday the 13th. Valentine's Day is a day to spend with your significant other. Some people laugh, some people fall in love, and some people just fall down the stairs. Not the best idea to wear heels for the first time. Now we turn to an anonymous Valentine that is sharing their story for the first time. Let's check out this exclusive interview with Ariana. Hi, my name is Ariana Lopez, and I'm here today with the anonymous Valentiner. So how long were you two together? Three months. Why did it end? It ended because he acted like I didn't exist. He never made the effort, but then when I didn't make the effort, he got mad. How do you feel about this upcoming Valentine's Day? It'll be better without him. So how do you feel about Valentine's Day in general? Um, I hope this y'all gets someone better. Thank you for telling us your story. We hope you have a great Valentine's Day, and hopefully there's no more tragic love stories. Thank you and goodbye. Now let's wrap up this segment with a quick Valentine's Day joke. What did the light bulb say to the other light bulb? I don't know, what did they say? You light up my world. Oh. How do you get arrested on Valentine's Day? How do you? By stealing somebody's heart. <laughs> now back to Haley in the studio. Thanks Ariana and Isabella. Those jokes, well, they were sweet. Now let's go to Leandro, giving us some information on the upcoming four day weekend. All alone, watch them run. They will tear each other into pieces. Jesus Christ, this will be fun. Da 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 Hello folks, my name is Leandro Rodriguez and what you heard me sing was the last part of I Know Him from the musical Hamilton, which the 8th grade saw on Wednesday, February 5th. It was really fun and we really enjoyed it very much. One of my favorite parts were King George's as he seemed to be one of the funniest characters in the play. Speaking of Hamilton, on February 14th through the 17th, we will have no school as it's President's Day, the day where we celebrate every president from George Washington, all, George Washington all the way up to Donald Trump. But before we go to the next segment, a brief announcement. My brother used to go to this school, unfortunately got cancer last year, but he was cured and he was able to visit his, to visit his classmates last week. He really enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and now back to Haley in the studio. Thanks Leandro, I'll be looking forward to my extended weekend. Here's a new segment to our show, Teacher Interviews. Let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Leslie Villegas and I'm here at the first grade teacher missing. How does it feel teaching a grade your mom first taught? It feels great. I have taught lots of different grades and teaching first grade with my mom, she taught me a lot, so it's helped me become a better teacher. What is your professional or educational background? I went to Notre Dame High School 
And then I spent one year at Hartnell College, junior college, and then I finished getting my bachelor's degree in liberal studies at Fresno State. And then I got my credential in Monterey at Brandon University. Who or what inspired you to start teaching? You. My whole family's full of teachers. So my mom's a teacher. Mrs. Morrison's my aunt. She's a teacher. And my other aunt is also a teacher. So I grew up around it. I used to be in my mom's classrooms when I was your guys' age and held her. So I always loved it and knew I wanted to have a family one day and it's a great occupation to have when you have your own kids. So I would say my aunts inspired me and my mom to become a teacher. Hi, I'm Isabella Jansen and I'm here with the 34th grade teacher at Mission Union School. So why did you choose to work at Mission School? I decided to apply here at Mission because they had a second grade spot open and I used to teach 7th and 8th grade and um, while I was researching this job opening, I realized how amazing this school is, what beautiful views it has, and the nice, um, the nice environment and class sizes that the school offers. Where did you teach before you came to Mission School? Uh, before I came to Mission School, I taught at Shalom Peak in King City, and I taught seventh and eighth grade math and science ELD. And then before that, I worked at Greenfield and um, Mary Chapel, so teaching third and second grade. beautiful view. I have great students um, and I have lots of support from parents. Well thank you for your time. Have thank a great day. You too. Thanks Isabella and Leslie. It's nice to know our teachers a little bit better. I'm glad you both had the honor of getting to know our teachers. Now here's Fabian with his cooking show, making salmon and asparagus. Sounds yummy. Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show. I mean Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show. Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show for show. Hi, I'm Fabian Rodriguez, and today I'm gonna be cooking salmon with asparagus. So first off, you're gonna need garlic powder, black pepper, bacon bits, cumin powder, thyme, garlic, Salmon and asparagus. Fabian cooking show, Fabian cooking show for show. I mean Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show. Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show for show. Fabian's. Okay, so first off, you're gonna need to season the salmon. So first, you're gonna get a little garlic salt. Then get some garlic powder, black pepper, then a little Cajun on it. Then. Do the same on the other side. That's the seasoning. Okay, so first off, you're going to put a tiny spoon of butter. And a little drizzle of olive oil. Then, put your salmon in. Then, you're going to put the asparagus. You also have to put another spoonful of butter in here. Now that the salmon is sizzling, put a pinch of thyme, a little bit of black pepper, mix that around, let the salmon get a good, nice skin on it. Okay, so now the salmon's getting a little toasted. You have to flip it over. Once it gets a little brown like this, you know it's almost ready. Great little lemon zest on it. So now you have to check on the asparagus. Then put the lid back on. Now the salmon is done. Put it on a plate. Almost done. You have to add the bacon bits because they're almost done. Don't let the asparagus stick to the pan. So now the asparagus is almost done. It's starting to get a little cooked like that. So this is ready. Just got it. 
plate. Then I already cooked some other salmon. That is the salmon with asparagus. Fabian cooking show, Fabian cooking show for show. Give me Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show. Fabian's cooking show, Fabian's cooking show for show for show. Fabian's cooking, cooking, cooking show. It's a cooking show. Thanks, Fabian. That sure did look delicious. Now our show must come to an end. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Mission News. We'll see you next time. Mission News.